Thank you, Mayor and Council, for your attention. My name is Dr. Kev Abazaji, and I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at UCI. And I've lived here for 10 years. As a physicist, I like numbers. Given the California Air Resources Board emission data, I did some calculations with that data. The board's data shows that about eight tons of volatile organic compounds are emitted by the All-American Asphalt Plant, and 220 pounds of benzene, and 1,800 pounds of formaldehyde. The emissions per year of something like formaldehyde can be seen by some as small when averaged over the full year. But the actual numbers allow for 800 billion liters of air to be above the OSHA limit for chronic exposure for formaldehyde for the year. This amounts to 2 billion liters per day at above the exposure limit. However, it could also be 1 billion liters of air at twice the exposure limit, or 20 million liters at 100 times the exposure limit in maybe just one hour of the day. The same exposure risks exist for benzene and the various VOCs from the plant. The important point is that if those emissions are released in a small interval, they can affect residents at far above OSHA limits for chronic exposure and, and more importantly, for acute exposure. Such emissions would fail to be detected by the 24-hour integrated time sampling of AQMD sensors. Therefore, I urge you to take resident concerns seriously and put into place independent monitoring, as Dr. Baker suggested, that can ascertain both acute and chronic exposure risks by the presence of this chemical plant in the city of Irvine. So this public health concern is in addition to the harm of quality of life from bad odors in themselves, which are unacceptable in our city. Thank you.